Hello guys, this is Shivam and today's video is only for Linux and Windows user. I'm gonna be showing for Linux user to install some tools to get prepared for checkering official jailbreak. And also I'm going to show Windows user that how you can get Linux on Windows and install USB Max D tools to get prepared for checkering jailbreak. In my previous video, I have shown you guys how to get Mac OS to get checkering jailbreak by using same method but now we no longer require macOS. Recently, Nikias Besson uh, tweeted that for those wondering, this has nothing to do really with Chakran, but feels Bash is better than Dash. If you want to, if you want to prepare for Linux rain season, make sure you have USB Max D installed and ready for Chakran jailbreak. So in order to install Chakran jailbreak on Linux or Windows. Uh, by installing Linux, you have to install USB Max D on it. To do that, follow this process. If you already have a Linux, it may look different for you, but it will be the same process as um, on the Linux too. Uh, right now, I'm on Windows PC using Zubuntu and I have installed Linux based uh, virtual machine. So, the same method we're gonna do for all. So before we begin in terminal, we have to update apt-get to in order to run the program. Okay, so type sudo space apt-get space update and hit enter. Then it's going to ask a password. I'm going to provide mine to get permission. So once you hit enter, the installation, the update will get update and you can see the package has been updated an update will be depends on how old your version is so it depends on that now to get check run, run on this device we need usb max d tools to to device will be recognized in order to do that type sudo space apt uh, dash get space install usb max d and hit install oops the command gone wrong so let's try again sudo space apt dash get uh, space install usb mux d and hit install now it will install uh, now as you can see it's already installed for me uh, because i have a newest version and if you have something in the older version so you will get update it will get installed on your system so for me it's already installed as you can see in some cases let's say it's ask you uh, to to get installed uh, type yes so to do that type sudo space apt the same same command and uh, there you can write uh, dash y so in this case you no longer required to type yes to install this command so go ahead and do that so as i said this is important without this tool you wouldn't be get check range jailbreak uh, that's what uh, nikias Besson tweeted uh, on twitter so the next step will be how you can get linux uh, on windows by using zubuntu process uh, so uh, watch it carefully the very first step will be uh, go to the you know bias mode by using your whatever system you're using you should know the commands uh, you will get on google uh, for me it's f10 once you are once you are inside a setup utility then uh, go to system configuration and there uh, make sure you enable virtual virtualization technology something like that for my for me in hp so make make sure it's enabled okay once you are unable just exit uh, with the f10 button and start the windows to check your system compatibility uh, go to run uh, type ms info 32 and hit and hit ok then you can see uh, the system type should be uh, x64 base and uh, hyper v vm monitor and uh, something virtualization should be enabled if all else that means you are good to go one more important step uh, click on windows disk management and here you can see a c drive you know you need to create a partition drive to uh, install a new os on it so for that uh, right click on your c drive and uh, shrink volume and then type uh, around uh, 80 to something like 60 to 80 uh, gigs okay so I'm, I'm going for the 100 gb once your drive is allocated just uh, create a volume and hit next 
and uh, keep the setup as it is ntfs just give it a name for your volume uh, and uh, it's okay and we are done here uh, partition drive is formatting and it will create a new uh, partition drive for us just uh, open it and there we go we got 100 gb uh, for our new os close everything go to internet chrome search for github.com slash brainstorm hit enter and click on it now we have rainstorm helper click on it and here go to resource and hit assets there we will get four four files just we just gonna need the second file to run the program setup.exe file click on it and start installing it it will be around 1.37 gb it depends on your system and internet speed that how much time it will take it, for me it took a while so our setup is completed so once setup is completed you will get jubuntu installer and make sure you select your installation drive uh, for me it's a e drive which i created earlier as you can see uh, e drive which is which has a hundred gigs next installation size i'm gonna select 64 gb and the device management will be Zubuntu and language will be English username by default and hit provide the password easy way so, so that you can understand because it's gonna need in future when we are installing Zubuntu and hit install it will start installation it will take a while so be patient I'm gonna speed up Once it is done, it will ask you to reboot your device. Hit finish. When black window will appear, uh, press shift to go to the GNU Grub version 2. And you can see, uh, don't confuse with other options. Just go to the normal mode and then you are in the Zubuntu. Now the Jubuntu installation will proceed. It will it will take some time to install. Let the process begin and be patient. I'm gonna speed up here. But it took me so long to install the Jubuntu. I'm gonna speed up the video around uh, 10 times than normal. It's almost going to finish. And uh, this time it's installed. And just hit that password which I put earlier. Now the Zubuntu has been installed, and, and that is a virtual machine. Uh, we are in the Linux based system. So finally this step has been done. The next step will be to install uh, any updates. Uh, just go ahead and install it. Now we are on virtual machine using Linux on Windows. So the, me the next method will be the same method I uh, as I shown earlier, how to install USB Max D on your system. So go ahead and watch that. So I'm gonna close this uh, process and watch that process. So I hope you guys understand the process. If you have any queries, go ahead and uh, comment in the comment section. And if anything related to this, I'll link down in the description. So guys, now you're prepared for this. So once official jailbreak is released for Linux or Windows, I'm gonna tell you very soon. So subscribe my channel. This is Shivam signing off. Peace out.